What are some of the reasons companies aren't successful with self-funding? That's a good question. We touched on it earlier, but I think the most important thing or, or where I've seen employers go wrong is to not have a long-term outlook. So they'll get into self-funding with the idea of saving money, um, you know, providing better benefits, but then they might have a rough first year or a rough first couple of years, and then they, they abandon it. They go back to the traditional market, um, not realizing or not internalizing that it, it really is a long-term um, you know, long-term approach and a long-term plan and short-term results, you know, while, while volatile, you know, um, you know, it's not always that way. So I think that would, that would be the main factor. Um, the other thing is, is probably poor vendor selection, uh, not having the right um, consultants, brokers, administrators in place uh, to make sure that the plan is utilizing the best in class vendors, um, you know, the best in class networks, um, prescription benefit managers, you know, all of the things that go into, you know, helping an employer save money and run a, a well oiled plant. 